What is going on lads and welcome back to the channel. So just a quick up to date to keep you guys up to date with this video. There's been a bit of news dropped on the official eFootball Twitter. I was just scrolling through Twitter there and decided to keep you guys up to date for those that haven't seen the Twitter yet and are checking out YouTube. So yeah, I mean big news, big news. There's some good stuff, there's some bad stuff. There's a couple of talking points. We will be doing a video later uh, which will be discussing a, a few things and me with a bit of per, kind of predicting what could happen and in the, in the window that these could come out. But Konami have announced via their official Twitter account on eFootball, uh, play underscore eFootball, that they've said thank you for playing eFootball 22. They've started a thread. We've received lots of feedback and questions on eFootball 22 from our users and in response we'd like to introduce some of the planned updates after version 1.1 onwards. So they've had three little uh, tweets here. The first one is free content. A lobby match in which users can create rooms online and play matches between teams created in Dream Team is scheduled to be available after summer 22. Next tweet is some editing functions will be available in winter 2022. Cross-platform across consoles and PC will also be available in winter 2022. And last but not least on the thread, they have paid content. So the number of teams that can be used in leagues and club teams will be expanded and distributed as additional paid content by the end of 2022. Master League will be available as additional paid content do during 2023. So lads, there's a lot to get through here. I'm going to keep this video short and sweet. This is more of a kind of keep you guys up to date type video. So short and sweet that you can get the exact information. But just to kind of theorize on this a bit, and I will go into this a little bit longer in another video, but the free content here, the lobby match. So this is basically a private lobby that you're able to invite your friends to play. So if you wanted to play me or I wanted to play you guys in a match, I could set up a lobby and you could have it either open or a password or invite only, similar to how they used to do it in PES 21. And I can invite you in to play a match. So I'm not dependent on the matchmaking or the random matchmaking. I'm inviting a friend in to play or whoever I want in to play. So you could do tournaments, you could do private matches, you could play your friends. That's a huge thing that they need to add. They talk about this coming in summer 2022. So if we go in here and do a bit of Sherlock Holmes investigating, summer in Japan lasts from June to mid-September. Now it says June to August here. In Europe, traditionally, the, the summer months would be June, July, and August, right? So I'm going to go into this in another video, but I would reckon that we're probably going to get one more big update after V1.1, and then we'll be talking about this for V1.3. That's just my opinion. Um because I think we might get an update in six to eight weeks time and then at the end maybe in August or maybe the end of July hopefully we get this so that would probably be what I'd be looking at so we could potentially get this in 1.2 the lobby match is coming in 1.2 v1.1 is out now uh six weeks after launch or whatever it is and then you're obviously going to have um you're going to have like the next big update in six to eight weeks. So that could potentially be two months from now, which would put us at the 31st of July, which would bring us right into August. So again, that's just me, you know, having a theory about that. Next up, we talk about some editing functions. So we yet to see what this will mean, like how limited edit mode will be. Maybe they're saying that like they have a huge edit mode planned and they won't have it fully out in winter 2022, but they'll continue to upgrade and update it. But edit mode will be coming in some capacity in winter 2022, as you can see here. Again, the winter period in Japan and traditionally would be kind of like end of November to like the start of uh, the start of February. So you'd have like December, January, February, kind of really early February. Um, so again, that's going to be edit mode back in for, for pretty much the new year in 2023, you would imagine. And they're also going to be bringing cross-platform between uh, consoles and PC in winter 2022. And last but not least, this to me reads as if they're going to have some sort of like seasonal update uh, where they'll be like unlocking all the teams and you'll be able to play like the leagues um, and stuff like that. But we will get into that. And last but not least, Master League, lads. A lot of people have been asking me about this. It says it's coming during 2023. So keep an eye on a future video I'm going to do today in about an hour or two where we go into a few more details and see if we can unearth a couple of breadcrumbs. And I will give you my opinion and suggestion or, you know, my thoughts on what I think they're going to do. But yeah, that's just a really quick video, lads. Hope, to, hope you are kept up to date. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I will talk to you later. Peace.